This is how you started off, Mika. What it is, what it do with the motherfucking whoop whoop. Hey. It is me. It is her. It is she. It is I, Miss Tamika Renee Bly. Welcome back to Uncomfortable. That don't. All right, whatever. That didn't go. Welcome back to Uncomfortable Conversations. It is me. It is her. It is she. It is I, Miss Tamika Renee Bly. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. Like, subscribe. I just had a brain fog. Like, subscribe, share. Yes. Follow the podcast on Instagram at Uncomfortable Conversations Pod. Listen. Period. This is my Donna right here. This is my birthday twin, Dawn. Okay? But before I do the proper, proper introduction, I'm going to tap in with y'all. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing good. I hope that whatever it is anybody is going through at this time is not too hard on you that you think this is it. Because this too shall pass. Also, too, I want to share a message that stuck out to me. I was reading something and this one really kind of hit me. This moment is not your life. It is just a moment in your life. So where you at right now is not going to be, you're not going to be there later. I hope I made some type of sense when I said that one. I like that. I got that. All right. Let me take my grandmas off. Those is my grandmas. Those is your grandmas. <laughs> your nanas. And I want to do a manifestation today. Because I feel like I missed out on the manifestation on the last episode the manifestation for today and you know i'm gonna say it once then we're gonna repeat it together as a collective twice and i want to hear y'all in the back and when i pass the virtual blunt y'all gotta really take it this time too okay oh my God. whatever they know how i come when i come mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and it's raining so it's perfect for the manifestation part the manifestation is i am on my way to becoming the best version of myself. Mm. Let it sink in. Then we gonna say it twice. I needed to hear that too. Yes. I am on my way. To becoming. The best version. Of myself. I like that. Let's say it again Rainy. Okay. I am on my way to becoming the best version of myself. Amen. You need to stop playing to be on here with me more often because the energy is energizing, Amen. bitch. Because ah! I feel that. I missed my birthday, Dawn. Y'all yes. don't understand. So, okay. This is my birthday twin, Taurus Madonna. Taurus May 13th Taurus out here. Game. Woo woo. I mean, Bullies. shout out the May Tauruses. I mean, the April Tauruses matter, mm. but they only matter because my brother and my son is. Anyway, ah, <laughs> it's a difference. That. It's I a love, difference. I love all my Tauruses because when we Taurus and we start Taurusing, we can't be stopped. Some of, some of us get on my nerves. I mean, yeah, that's granted. That's very much granted. Some of us get on my nerves. That's very much granted. But when we start Taurusing. We Taurus. We Taurus. So this is my Please. birthday twin, Madonna. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm definitely gonna say not in the friend category, more like a sister. Yes. That you know, like her mom. You know, I'm gonna ask her mom if she like wanna adopt me. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let y'all know. No shade to my mom, but. Donna's mom is cool too. I just she, said she alright. <laughs> she on my nerves, um, but she alright. Me and Don go back. Way back. Ooh, way back. What? Twenty? What? Twenty eleven? Twenty ten? Cause I met yep. me. I met your brother first. Then I started Damn. hanging out with Nan. Then girl, me and you just clicked. Yeah. We met and we was like boop. Cause Damani was like. He was born in 09, mm -hmm. so 2010. Yeah, he was still like one, two. Yeah. God, damn. You know, like an instant connect. It was no, like, 
I don't know. You know how sometimes you meet people and you'd be like, I don't know about that person yet. Yeah. Like, with Mika, <laughs> it was literally like, that's my girl. You, Cause you know the vibes. <laughs> Every time we see each real. other, it was just always a vibe. We could we could not see each other for months, and we see each other. It's like girl, back like we never left for real. Literally, that's my girl. So listen, right? I got four books that I would like to show you guys because these books help me. And maybe it can help somebody else. Okay, I'm here for the books. So this one, who is it? Hold on, I gotta make sure that I... I mean, like... Ain't, okay, mm. Set and Soul. It's Ooh, by... Um, I think the website is setandsoul.com. Okay. So this one's called Levels. And in this one, it has... Oh, so it asks you questions. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up and see if they can... Okay. If I could do it the right way. If y'all could see some of the questions that it has. Damn, I don't know how this mm. works. <laughs> Maybe somebody's seen it. But you see, today your mood, ultimate big goal. Today's small goal towards the ultimate big oh. goal. I will achieve this goal because okay. today I am doing this towards my goal. The spiritual work I did towards my big goal. The mental work I did towards my big goal. The physical work I did today towards my big goal. And it takes blank for me to achieve this goal. I had to start blank so I can blank. And I had to stop blank so I can blank. Okay. I will not quit my goal because. Okay. Right? So it seems like it's one of those books that holds you accountable to the things that you want to get done yeah i like that definitely so this one's called levels i like that i don't be knowing if it look blurry or not because i'm not on that side bam the next one sorry rainy i'm gonna say you scared rainy i sure did i'm sorry the next one is spirit and soul exo hmm. exo right and this one I don't want to show you nothing that I wrote in yet. <laughs> this one, if you're big on faith, then definitely for you. Um, definitely for you if you're big on faith. If you can see, I don't know. I'm going to read it still, but just to give you a visual. So, now this one, faith and forgiveness. And then they have... Um, Bible verses on the oh, yeah on the wow, end. That's cool. I like Dope. that. So it says, "Today your mood. Today I am grateful for mm. today's prayer. Today I pray for the name of the person and what the prayer is for. Today I believe God is asking me. Today I am open to. Today I forgive myself for. By the grace of God, I am. Mm. And then." It has, I'm going to get comfortable, girl. <laughs> Today's script, scripture I will meditate on mm -hmm. and what the scripture means to me. I forgive these people. Today I will let go of. Mm -hmm. Today I free myself from. I know that the blood of Christ is covered all over me. Don't play with me. Hello. I have faith that. So I like this one. I like that too. Oh, wait, what the, what the verse say? The one on this one is from um, John chapter 3, verse 1. Mm. First John. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. Mm. Ah, what somebody say amen on a Sunday? Amen. Spirit and soul. Now this one is kind of what, not kind of, yeah, it played a part in what got me where I'm at today, business minded, plain and simple, business minded, and this one has, oh, that one looks a little different, yeah, oh, wait, um, okay, so I can't do that one, <laughs> because it, so I gotta just show the table of contents, because, yeah, it's broken down, so if y'all could see, Kind of just set up in the business minded one. And it starts with about me. And then you got 
past mistake about your business then it asks you about your past mistakes and failures investors about your customers depending on what type of uh, business you're doing a breakdown of your marketing research strategy strategy in detail like this is dope really if you prepared for a business yeah it talk it has a section for apps that's pretty dope. It has a now hiring section. Hey, I know. That. Okay, <laughs> like, let's do it together. Yeah, business so, minded daily. Bam, this is the part I wanted to show y'all. So, <sighs> heavy book. Yes, it is. <laughs> right? So, in the business minded daily section, it has morning thoughts and nightly thoughts. And the morning thoughts, thoughts are today's affirmation, my motivation. I will push through. I am creating today. I will not forget to. Excuse me. Uh -uh. Spiritual, spiritual, mental, physical work that will be done today. That's for the morning thoughts. And for the nightly thoughts it has. Today's accomplishment. I believe. Today's challenges. Mm -hmm. Today my business needed. Mm -hmm. Today I had to change. I spent time learning. I connected with. I sharpened sharpened my skills and products by whatever you did. I like this book, Business Minded. I like that book too. Everybody need to get this. And the last one, last but not least, shout out to my uncle Junie. My Aaron. Uh oh. <laughs> shout out to my uncle Junie, yo, because. First of all, if it wasn't for Uncle Junie, I probably would still, and, and this is no shade to anyone who has a nine to five, mm -hmm. but I feel like, because I already had like the cafe that I wanted to do at the mm -hmm. time, so Uncle Junie gave me the book first called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Mm -hmm. Along with the book, he gave me the workbooks. Oh, wow. So, the book, it basically talks about how some people like Hen Henry Ford, um, how they started from nothing, how they started with just like a plan and how mm -hmm. they plan actually became into fruition because they did the work and how, you know, that commercial, the coal miner, how he turns back around when he was that close to the gold. Mm. How like basically a lot of people came so close to being where and they wanted, but then yeah, and that's why I quit my job in two thousand and um. Mom passed in two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. That's why I quit my job after reading that book. So these workbooks. Hold on, this is a big book too. That is a big book. I ain't really getting to this one. This one's called the Master Mind Volume by Napoleon Hill, a part of the Think and Grow Rich series. And it basically has little sections where you could take notes, but it's also talking about, let me make sure, like it has quotes right here. There was a quote over here from Oprah Winfrey. I don't really like Oprah like that, yo. I don't know it personally, but it's something about a vibe. Yeah. I don't know. Um... There's a quote right here by Raymond Charles Barker. It says, all negative states are self-created and can be self-neutralized. Mm. I That's feel like neat. I feel like we needed to... Uh, and they have like different quotes like that um, on every page. <laughs> but let me show y'all, right? This is kind of how every page looks. It's real informative, though. Oof. I know, girl. You're getting to work out with these books. <laughs> books it's real you. informative. Think and Grow Rich. The Mastermind Volume. That's that one. This one is the Success Journal. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. And I got this for free, so I'm extremely grateful. Extremely grateful because my uncle told me, like, they don't really... You can't really find these find like those. that. Yeah. Mm. So in this book, it has Today's Action Steps and then... You write. Um, Think and Grow Rich, Imagination Ideas. Then it has Napoleon Hill, like Success Inspiration. Today's Success Thoughts. I like that one. I like this journal. I got into it a little bit, but I ain't really finished it. Bam, y'all see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so 
annoying. No, I got them issues, girl. We all got them. Okay. Some got it more than others. This is the workbook. This is the one I was getting into. Let me skip past the, the ones that I already filled out. Alright, so I'll just start right here. So we got things like this. This is different chapters. This is chapter 11. The 11th step towards riches. I think there's 15? I gotta double check for real. But it's a few steps. This one is um, the subconscious mind. And it just basically outlines things that you should do. Like this one says... The seven major positive emotions. Hmm. The emotion of desire. The emotion of faith. The emotion of love. The emotion of sex. The emotion of enthusiasm. Hmm. The emotion of romance. The emotion of hope. Now, the seven major negative emotions to be avoided. The emotion of fear. Ooh. The emotion of jealousy. Hmm. The emotion of hatred. The emotion of revenge. The emotion of greed, the emotion of superstition, and the emotion of anger. Mm. What? It's very hard to avoid those emotions. It is. It depends on the situation, <sighs> God damn it. So this is the workbook. Bam. This is the workbook. Ah, y'all better find me a... Uh, hey. I be rapping. Hey, I got bars. This is the workbook. Hey. Hey, this is the workbook. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Rainy. I keep giving Rainy a little scared. So I just wanted to share these with the world because um, they're really, really, really good books to have for real. It helped me. Now I'm not letting you borrow it or nothing, but I showed Can't you. Do that. I showed you. <laughs> <laughs> People don't be so giving you your books your back, yo. No, they don't. <laughs> They really, really don't. You know, and then they be letting other people use the book that you lend them. I'm still waiting for, from like, Monty was Girl, about, about two, it. three. <laughs> when I lent out, no, whatever age he was, when that when Kevin Hart came out with his book, bitch, I what went to book? the library and brought that. What book? I don't know what it's called right now, but Kevin Hart got a book. And you lent it? I'm still waiting Girl, for that what you book. what you on? You're not getting that back. I'm still waiting for you that book, is that all book. I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely not. What it is, what it do with the whoop whoop, y'all. I'm here with Birthday Twin Dawn. Birthday Twin. It's your birthday. And, um, birthday, I don't got my grams on, so I gotta get closer. Oh, I wanted to offer you guys. You see, you see the sure. ass? They see the ass. Y'all see it. Ooh, <laughs> that's a nice little picture right there. That ain't me. <laughs> Why you look back like I'm like, wait, been. right? It could have been. <laughs> yeah, it, it could have been. Um, before I spark this blunt, I wanted to offer a prayer of protection, okay. right? And it's just a prayer that I pray not often because I feel like. Why am I bombarding God with the same prayer? Like, you heard me the first time. But I feel like certain prayers you have to constantly pray. And I feel like this is one of them. I still don't do it often, but I feel like this is one of them. So, you don't have to close your eyes or nothing. If you don't want to, it depends on... I'm going to close mine. <clears throat> Alright, everybody, buy your ears. Everybody, and, and, buy you your know, ears. Buy your ears and close your eyes, yo. Mm -hmm. Buy your ears. Bow your ears, Rainy. Bow them. Close them. All right. Okay. Father God, I ask that you remove anything and anyone that's negative around me, Donna, and the collective. I ask that you make us aware of our surroundings. We're already aware, but some people need an extra nudge. Mm -hmm. If... It's someone who is continuously doing something to hurt someone else. Give that person a sight that they need so they can see that in its entirety and not ignore it. I ask that you don't make us blind to red flags. There are a lot of things that always happen. Sometimes we ignore certain things. I ask that you make it so that nothing gets overlooked. 
we see everything mm. we pay attention to everything it's not always about what people say we got to pay attention to how they move to so I ask that anyone, family, friend, foe, that is in a vibration of low energy, that you remove them from me. You remove them from Donna. You remove them from the collective. I ask that you make us aware of how we feel when we are around certain people. And most importantly, if it don't align with us, Make it hard for it to come to us. Make it hard for us to obtain what isn't for us. Because what is for us is not going to be hard for us to obtain it. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 That was beautiful. Remove the negativity. Because I'm... Don't. Yesterday, I had a little moment. I'm like, I'm <laughs> tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Mm -mm. I'm tired of this. We make a song out of anything, don't we? I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of the. Ow. Get it, girl. If I shoot, wasn't recording, shoot, I'd have jumped up shoot, on the couch like, shoot, ah, because you didn't. <laughs> Pop that booty. Ass. All right, so I'm going to spark the blunt. What's going on with you, Dwana? Girl. Life. Life is life, and I'm over it. I actually had a moment yesterday. A moment of what? Like. Okay. All right, we we'll begin vulnerable. <coughs> Are you opening up? <laughs> right, I had a moment of really thinking and somewhat understanding why some people choose to give up i wasn't in that energy of giving up but i was overwhelmed okay. and i found myself saying like oh god like sometimes shit just get it just becomes too much you know especially mm -hmm. if you're one person um taking on everything mm -hmm. And I could see how some people be like, fuck this shit. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, who, we didn't give, who are we to take away something that we didn't give? Mm -hmm. So it's like, how selfish of me would it be to remove myself from the earth? It's like, and then I started thinking about, okay, like, for the people who do contemplate and for the people who actually did go through it, it's like, yes, we feel you are no longer here, but mm -hmm. how selfish of you to remove yourself and leave us now with all this fucking pain it's and questions. I know. It's a sickness. I know that too, and that shit's real. And it's real, yeah. It's a sickness, and you know, at that moment, you are not in their head when mm -hmm. a person who's giving up is giving up. Right. And a lot of things in life, you know, I had to grow to understand this. Sometimes we just won't ever understand. And then eventually, maybe one day when we understand, it might be a little bit too late by then. Yeah. That part. Mm -hmm. But I do be having that thought, just thinking of, like, all the people that like have committed suicide it's like damn you really got that overwhelmed like so much so you couldn't have called some yeah. people don't have anybody to call for real. yeah and you know i um i don't have any like you know friends or anything like that that has committed suicide so i don't know it affects me a little different like mm -hmm. i'm very sympathetic of mm -hmm. course like if it was to ever happen to a friend of mine who knows somebody because you know that's just where it's at but um i know friends who have had manic episodes mm -hmm. and it's just like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i'm just and i'm like ah oh, i'm on my way mm -hmm. like don't do that mm -hmm. no talk to me mm -hmm. you know but Never somebody who actually, you know, went through it and passed.
past. Like I had a good friend who um, was in the hospital for years ago. And I couldn't understand. I'm just like, why? Like, that's the only thing you got. Why? Yeah. What's going on? Like, what are you going through? Like, you know, and at the time, we're just, we're not in their head. Right. Because it's, it's all about, how, like, okay, you and I could be going through the same thing, but mm-hmm. we're going to process it different. differently. Yeah. And it's like, damn, like, you could look at it like, no, don't let that shit get you because you know how you would handle it, but mm-hmm. it's it's not the same. Yeah, that's why I really like no, <laughs> like I mental health. It's real. It is so real. Don't play with that. It is so real. It's real. <laughs> they took, all right, they took it. They took it. <laughs> I'm I'm the friend that don't smoke, y'all. I need. That's why I'm trying to blow I can, it over I know, here, I but she you. still allows me to smoke. I be I asking her to like you. Everybody be. You know, I can drink some water and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one that give me a little glass of wine, um, a little lemon drop, my tea. I'm one also of those girls. Too. Take me to brunch. Wait, you were asking me something. What about my ex? Oh yeah. Um, what did I say? Ah. Uh, Damn, I said save it. You for said that. you wasn't healed, and um, so you don't, I don't know. Bam, I'm in a new connection. A new connection. Yes, I am. Call me, be it's me. hot, yeah. fiery. All I'm missing is some tassels. <laughs> <laughs> Why we do the same thing at the same time? You're annoying. That's all I'm missing is some tassels. Um, And I was telling Dawn how I found myself, well, how I knew I wasn't, I'm not all the way healed Mm -hmm. from my past relationship is because I found myself at one point noticing what the, the new guy was doing and thinking, this nigga... Like, it's so simple. Like, he could have just got with the program. I don't want to compare. Mm-hmm. And that's how I know. Like, I'm I'm over him. Because I told you, I've seen him. I ain't mm-hmm. really feel nothing. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, like, the shit that he did pops up. Well, are you over what you allowed to happen to yourself? Yes. It's only when, like, okay. I could be chilling. It don't just pop up. I have mm-hmm. to be reminded of something. Something mm-hmm. I have to see something or drive by something, and then it's like, oh, damn. Mm. <laughs> like, uh, like I okay. I drove by where he'd be at the other day because mm-hmm. I wanted to see how it would make me feel. Cause no bullshit. There's, there's times when I just be passing by. Mm-hmm. Either I'm coming or going home and I'm maybe from that area and I'm, I'm fucking passing by. And it feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Oh. But then I'll see that he's over there. Mm-hmm. And then, because I prayed for him to, for, for, I prayed and asked God to release his energy from me Mm -hmm. like I swear to God I cried so hard I woke up and I felt great Mm -hmm. after that the thing is he has not released my energy and I feel like I feel that shit every time I just I don't be I be in the car he's outside I'll see him Mm -hmm. but all of a sudden it's like I gotta hurry up and get the fuck out of there Mm -hmm. so I also prayed and asked God to release for him to release my energy from him yeah, but. Because, nigga. Because he's, like, trying to, <laughs> like, okay, I'm finding out he's possibly trying to get himself together to try to come back. Mm. Like, and I literally pray. I'm not going to call and text him, but I be praying, like, just let me go, my nigga. <laughs> It's hard because Just you have no control go. over that. I know. It's hard. You have no control I over know, the way he does with his energy with you. Let and me go. You can't keep punishing yourself for that. That I'm not doing. That's why 
I got into but a new you connection. Driving over there. No, I did that just to see. I don't be. Mm-hmm. I don't be having no reason to go over there unless. And you still don't. I haven't been. Okay. I haven't been. So that was, was the that? last time. When was that? Was today. That was like a few weeks ago. No, because we're in August. Because <laughs> we're in August. We're in yes. August. No, no, because we're in August. I think it's August four. This happened um, before Juneteenth. Okay. Before right. Juneteenth, not a few okay. weeks ago. Before Juneteenth. All right, all right. And I was like, damn, okay. Like it felt strong, even Ooh, running into a few of his boys, mm-hmm. and you it's know, like it felt one of those moments. Like, I remember I had this one ex, and girl, you know, you know, I've been, my first love, Mm -hmm. girl, y'all, y'all know that first love, Mm -hmm. can't nobody tell y'all about y'all first love, honey, nobody, we uh, literally officially, officially, like, cut it off, what, like, last year, yeah, it was last, it was last year. year. Like, and I've been on this man since I was fourteen. Damn. Off and on, off and on, off and on. We would stop talking for like a year, two years. I swear to y'all, I would think of this man. Boom, he's pop up, message mm-hmm. me, inbox me, or something. And that's like that was literally the energy we had. Like, I would think of him, and I'm like, dang, I wonder how he's doing. I kind of miss him. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, I'm seeing him somewhere. My mother's like, oh, I done seen so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And then, boom, he's hitting me up. And I had so much stuff of his that I didn't even realize I had. Oh. From remember, I had the pictures. I had pictures of him. I had, like, letters this man wrote me and all this stuff. Like, I literally had to throw it all away. I had, like, I burned it. And once I did that, I felt like so much of a release. Like, because you got rid of that. Energy. I had to get rid of it. Whatever it was. And I didn't even realize how much stuff I literally mm-hmm. had of this man. Until, like, I was like, I got to let it go. Because mm-hmm. when we were good, we were great. But when we were bad, mm-hmm. oil mm-hmm. and water. And I'm like, I'm getting older. You're getting older. Why are we communicating like this to each other? Why are things just not working? And I was just like, I cannot do this no more. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know. Sometimes that energy, you just, you, you just gotta continue to keep building. That's what, yeah, and that's what I'm doing. Because I know, like, he just got hit me up on Fourth of July, mind you, I. I thought his numbers was blocked. Honey, he got another phone. <laughs> Man, leave me alone. Listen, I'm going to find a way, he said. But usually <laughs> when I used to get a text, I used to get so giddy and butterfly. Mm-hmm. I was just like, happy fourth. Like, I didn't feel it yeah. anymore. Like, you know? Yeah. And that's a beautiful feeling when... You know, I'm not saying it's a beautiful feeling when you fall out of love. Right. But it's a beautiful feeling when the love wasn't healthy. Yes. And you're able to just acknowledge it and move on and kind of just, you know, yes. love yourself more. Yes. Yeah. Like. Because so I might be enough it. for the both of us. Honey. Hello. <laughs> you know, Echo. That's my girl. But I am over him. I just mm-hmm. know that. That's why, like, we're taking it slow. Yeah. Like, he knows. And that's normal. But I'm like, I'm not, I'm not bringing no old shit into nothing new. And that's beautiful. And I want to make sure Mm -hmm. that I'm not bringing no old shit into the new. Because the new. It's good. The new should have been here a long time ago. But whatever, Mm -hmm. it's here now nonetheless. Listen, timing is always right. But the new feels great, y'all. Ah! Now, if you was tuning in, right? If you was rocking with me uh, since the first season on Spotify, you would know how I was talking about how I was going to dip my little big toe into the dating pool, and I did that. But I didn't even mm-hmm. have to dip the toe all the way into the mm-hmm. pool. Because, boom, it was in your face. The whole fucking time. And that's usually how it is. I said, wow, God... I don't God know. is funny. I don't know who's in my face. Because, baby, I'll be... Get out of my face. God is funny. <laughs> God is funny. But it was right in my face. And it's it's a great feeling. 
I love that. For it's you, a great right? feeling, like because yeah. it feels it feels with the organic, natural. That's it, and it's and someone that it I know. Be. It's someone that I know. That's how it should be. That's beautiful. I like that. I mean, I, like I ain't never you. been with them, so I gotta get to know that part of yeah, being. Yeah, and like you said, but, yeah, taking your time. And he's cool, mm -hmm. and I like him, and we be kissing and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, so what else? Period. I wanted to talk about something else. But what y'all want to talk about? I got some shit to talk about, but I don't want to cry because it's been it's been like some parenting stuff that I'm having uh, some issues with with my son, and now I want to get into that. Like I really want to talk about that, but I want to do like a um, how do you call it? Like I'm going to be extremely vulnerable one time and kind of mm. tell. Like, who is Tamika? Okay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Kind of sum it up a little bit. Yeah. But, um, life is great, y'all. Life is only what you make it. Yep. Don't... I found myself saying the other day, like, I'm really fucking getting tired of people. Not all people. Mm -hmm. But... Some people do dumb shit... Some people want you to conform to their way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but my nigga, like, not that your way of thinking is wrong, but it's wrong. <laughs> like, it, it don't, it's not making sense. Mm -hmm. And then some people get mad when you don't want to be a part of their team. Because, like, well, your team ain't shit. Like, what if y'all not really. Dang. It's just weird. Like, I'm getting tired of people. People who project. People oh. who fucking are upset because you are deciding to do the things that you said you were going to do. People being upset that the determination and drive that you have, mm -hmm. they don't have that shit. Well, you know what? And it's like, why are you mad at me, though? Because I get up and get to it. You could do it, too, instead of just being fucking mad at me, you still choose to sit. It's a choice, my nigga. Remember that quote I posted? Tell me. Give thanks when people reveal themselves. Now you mm. know. Yes, you did. And look, and you've been asking God yes, you to did. protect you. Listen, when a person show you who they are, that's it. believe them. That's it. I've been on that for a while. Like... This is who you are when I tell you no. This is who you are when I'm setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. This is who you are when I'm not allowing things to go your way. Then this is just who you are. Right. Period. Things are not <laughs> always going to be peaches and cream. Like, right. no. I like, I like to find out people for who they are when things get tough. Because when things get tough. You really see a person for who they are and who they can be, how shicey they can be, how loyal they can be, who they be talking to about you. You gonna find out everything. But when things are good and it's going their way and you giving them what they need, you you giving them the favors, the rides, all that. Everything's good. I was just telling someone the other day. I mm -hmm. said, yo, no funny shit. Ever since. I put my foot down to a lot of people Ooh, and yeah. I set boundaries. I said, my nigga, the same three or four people call me. Mm -hmm. My shit be dry. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't fuck with them, but my nigga, no, I cannot. Yeah. And then it's not me just saying no. I'm saying no because when I needed you, you couldn't do shit couldn't for do me. Nothing. You still can't. Mm. And then the thing that get to me is, you don't know it, but I gave you my last. Huh. And you know, the type of people <laughs> we are, we don't... We don't sit and dwell on that yeah. shit, though. But still. Because we get it back ten times. That's it, but ten times still. Four. But, yeah. I'm getting And I don't believe this. in throwing things in people's faces. Absolutely not. I don't. Absolutely not. But one thing I will do, Absolutely I will not. send a nice little reminder. Yeah, those work. So stop playing. 
Those were. Because I will send a good old reminder. <laughs> oh, you're throwing it in my face? No, I'm not throwing it in your face. But I will hold you accountable to the things that I have done for you. I hold you accountable. Mm-hmm. Because when you needed me, I was there. Mm. And I never belittled you or made you feel any type of way about it. So, yeah, if I got to send out a nice little reminder uh -huh, per per last email, per last request, okay. I will. <laughs> Have you on I'm that. Here for and I won't ever that. and I won't ever mention it again. Right. But just know that I'm gonna move different from, from that. But then now you acting funny. Girl, I don't oh, why, care you, about that. why you oh you acting funny. Hilarious actually. With a capital H. Mm hmm Don't play with it because we could keep, 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 mm -hmm. keep, keep, keep. All day. It's all in the shoulders. I'll be telling y'all it's all, all in the, the shoulders. All in the bounce. Get the, <laughs> <laughs> Get the bounce. I'll be telling that. Ooh, you just made me think of. You just made me think of. All I want to do is see you bounce with me, bounce with me. Bounce with me, bounce with me. I don't know the words, but whatever. That was, that was cool. Okay, so I'll never think be like that. Another thing, right now, where you are in your life, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to your 15-year-old self? Ooh, that's tough. If you want, I can go first. Because I was supposed to answer this with when I did it with Marcus, but um, we just, like, was chatty. <laughs> and I didn't get to answer mine. Um, you go first. Okay. I would tell 15-year-old Tamika that at 19, you will become a mom. You will quickly realize that you are going to be a single parent. You will still get your high school diploma. You will still graduate from college. In your 30s, you will lose your mom. Mm. It will be really hard for you. You will get yourself into therapy. You will change your way of thinking, and you will keep going. Basically, I say that to say all this. You're going to experience some shit. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be some days that's going to be better than others. Mm. But you're still going to accomplish all the things you said you were going to accomplish. And then you're going to be me at 35 years old. <laughs> I'm just and saying. you're going to be me. <laughs> okay. And you're going you're gonna to go through mad phases with your hair. People's gonna think you a lesbian at times because how you got the, the side shades and all. But you gonna get past that. Oh God, we got that shit used to piss me off. <laughs> like yo, once somebody used to when I have Facebook, somebody inboxed me like yo, somebody I knew. Like yo, T, you like girls? I'm oh, like, wow. is it the hair? Like, cause I already knew, so I said, yeah, is, is it the, the hair? Cause I had the. Anyways. You're going to go through some phases with your hair, but then you're going to be 35 and you're going to start growing locks and you're going to be like, yes, yeah, I'm glad I waited. So 15-year-old Tamika Renee Bly, you're going to go through some shit, but you're going to be so resilient and you're going to push through. Uh, beautiful, beautiful word. In the name of Jesus, I feel it on my body. Woo! That's what I would tell her. Amen. Dang, this is hard. That's what I would say. 15-year-old B. I'm not going to say I was wilding. Oh, shit. But, like, I was partying a lot. Oh, shit. But let me tell you, I always had a job. I always had a job. I always made my own money, and I always paid my own little bills. But, and schoolwork was always done. Period. Um, But I would say... Love yourself. That part. Um... At 15, I became a big sister. It was just me and my brother. And I became a big sister. And um, I always felt like I was alone because my brother was six years older than me. So I always felt like I was the only child. But, like, um, I would say love yourself. 
continue to be a good big sister. I'm a great auntie. And um, when I was in the midst of graduating college, um, my second degree, I lost my father. So I would say, ask questions. Um, be more active. And um, like you're gonna you're gonna run into problems and issues, and um, stand on what you say. You know, um, and just looking back at it, I felt like I made a lot of excuses for people mm-hmm. for how they acted and for how they treated me. And like we just discussed, if a person show you for who they are, believe them. I had to learn that, you know, as I got older, because I definitely made a lot of excuses for people. And um, if a person show you who they are, believe them. So, you know, I'm not going to say I regretted a lot of things growing up because it definitely made me for who I am now. But I would say, you know, self-love. Just give yourself that love every day, mm. you know, and... um read more. I'm not saying I wasn't a reader, but I did not read books that informed me. Like, I read mm-hmm. other little books, you know, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I had them hood books, honey. That was my... Them that, triple, them triple crime that was, that was my jam. Them Zane's. Remember them Zane books? Yes, girl, that was my jam. Hello? <laughs> but, yeah. And just, you know, do your best. Do your best. Thank you, snaps all around the room. I love that. What? Uh-huh. What? You said so much good shit. You did too. I mean, we both did. What yeah. you, you, you say? What do you want to tell your younger self? Yeah. Shoot. Or, you know, write a letter. Write a letter to yourself. It's you know? crazy, the write a letter part. How about my therapist one day? Suggested I write a letter to my mom. I couldn't even finish that Ooh, shit. Oh, we that I now my dad. I couldn't even finish that if shit. She would have told me something like that. I write a letter to my dad. That would have been because she was like, I was going through something. And she's like, What do you think your mom would say? Mm. I was like, she probably say a lot of things. Mm. I said, Why don't you write a letter to your mom, explaining everything that you're going through right now? You know, and um, I'm nigga. It started with, Hey, mom. <laughs> Cause you know how we, hey ma, <laughs> look waterworks. It started, Instantly. hey ma, hey ma. It's been super hard without mm. you. Teardrop. I mean, instantly, <laughs> instantly. She said, "Did you do it?" I said, um, "I couldn't do it." I tried. She said, "No, I understand, but you know, that's on your tough. own time." I'm yeah, like, bitch, no, tough. I don't want to write no letter. I want to talk to. I wish I could talk to my mother and tell her how much I love her. Yeah. She already know that. Just like your dad know. But still, like, yeah, you know how bad tough. I wanted mom to be at my graduation? Mm-hmm. You know how bad I wanted her to be the first person I called when I got my license for real? Mm-hmm. You know how bad I wanted her to be the first person I called when I got the first whip? Like... Yeah. Like, mom, I could bring you, we could go there now. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, ugh, that sucks, shit. Because I completely understand. It's a sucky feeling. That shit. And then is, you got tough. people that's just telling you, go oh, just be strong. And it's like, I thank you. be strong. No, thank fuck you. being strong. But, like, I've been that my whole life. Let's be resilient like we are. I've been that my whole life. This shit just sucks. And it's okay for people to say, yo, this shit just sucks. Because it do. Sometimes. It sucks. Some yeah. days are better than others. Mm-hmm. Like, I was in the shower. It went from, it went from, I'd rather be your N-I-G-G-A. Because you know how we mm-hmm. be bumping in the shower. Woo, woo, woo. To a nigga, one of her favorite songs, We Belong Together. Now yeah. I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm crying. It comes out of nowhere, man. I said, uh-uh. Hey, Alexa. Next song. Yeah. <laughs> it the literally fuck? comes out of nowhere. Like, oh, my damn. Girl, why? So, I just got, I went on vacation. 
And um, me and my friend, we were talking. I don't even know how we got on the topic of it. And I'm telling her about my father. And I'm in the middle of this beautiful ocean <laughs> crying. That's fine. Let them yeah, I fall. mean, I ain't going on vacation to cry now. And because she lost her mom too, oh, okay. and I was just like, you know, my father was um, an advocate of me just traveling. Like, you know, every time I went on a trip or anything, mm-hmm. my baby traveling, she mm-hmm. going to see the world, and I'm like, dang, like, he I wish so she was happy here, for like, you. yeah, like, genuinely, like, I wish she was here. And her like, dad a tourist too, though. Tourist game. I'm just saying. <laughs> May 18. Like, don't play with it. He wow. a tourist too, mm-hmm. though. My homie. But I miss, yeah. I miss yeah. my. I mean, my dad is cool. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no dad, like not my homie. Dad be watching, not in a bad mm-hmm. way, player. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Dad that's is cool. Homie. No, cause dad is really cool. Like yeah. he's super smart. Mm-hmm. He like super fucking smart. Like he be he be knowing some shit. Yeah. Shout out to my dad because Shout he's the him. he's the reason why. I date the way I date. Yeah. I was shown the proper way. Mm-hmm. Okay. That I was. And even though him and my mom were not married or none of that, they are the fucking best example for co-parenting. Mm. When he came down to, to visit us, you can stay here, Tim. Yeah. And she was with Phil. Yeah. She, she ain't give a fuck. She, my she baby, my baby dad can stay yeah. here. You know how mom she was. <laughs> so she's like, no, my kid's father, he can stay here. Yeah. She be like, ain't like I'm fucking him. <laughs> like, what's up? Yeah, he like, for the kids. You know, so mm-hmm. shout out to Pops, man, because. Yeah. It, But then, not but for dad, but even though I was shown that, mm-hmm. a fucking I guess gift and the curse of mine as to even why I stayed in my last relationship as long as I did. I always see what you could be before the fuck you could see what you could be. Yeah, that's and I'm like I'm not dating your I'm not dating the potential no more. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, we're not. I'm not. A lot of women do that, and because we we see the. We, you're so smart, you could be this, you could do that. But if a person can't see it, we can't make them see it. That like, part if a person too. doesn't want to change, we cannot make that person change. That part, They're going to want to have to do it for themselves. And that part, too. Learning that is tough because it makes you face the reality of, damn, this person really just don't want to do nothing. I didn't realize that until I left them. Because when I was in it, it was... Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to call and see about it. Like, mm-hmm. And they project. <laughs> a person I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to get on it. Mm-hmm. Then it was like, I'm you're not. I'm going to see that lady. Yeah, <laughs> then it's like, no, but you're not, though. So guess what? I got to I gotta go. And then back to the energy part real quick. Because mm-hmm. what I was thinking was, when I left, I didn't take nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't still take got all your stuff. nothing. You think you probably still got your stuff? I asked Father God to bless his heart, touch his heart, to make him throw it in the trash. Mm. Cause I was thinking about that shit. I'm like, wow, a lot of me is still it's still there. I didn't take shit because it was so mm. much so that I was just like, you know what? I could buy them shoes back. I could yeah. get them clothes back. Yeah. I could get that fuck. I can, yeah. I can get those back. That's how you was thinking. Just that. Ooh, we. I hope it's in the trash. Play it. If you watch it, toss my shit. Because <laughs> that's probably where the you energy. You don't want that. You want I don't want that shit. That is tainted now. Oh, okay. It wasn't tainted when I was there. But now that I'm not there, it's been it's been touched in a negative way. Mm-hmm. I get it. Throw my shit out, play it. Burn <laughs> it if you have to. I am not upset. Or you know what? Donate it to the Goodwill. Do something. Cause it was some nice shit. Them hills, them black. It was like some black lace. Yeah, type that's what shit. I was like. You know, kind of cute stuff. It was so. kind of cute. I'm gonna um, buy them back. Hope it ain't nothing to buy them. Again. If not, I'm gonna get a, a the sister. Okay. Cause that was the mother pair. I could find the sister. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna show this. All right, girl. 
But you guys, I'm happy with life. Some things can be, there's always uh, room for fucking improvement. Yeah. But where I'm at right now, I'm grateful. Mm. I thank God for the things I have and for the things that I don't have but mm. will have. Boom. Because it's, it's coming. I respect that. It's I, coming. I don't know how I feel right now. I am yeah. in a, a situation where I don't want to be in, but let alone I am forever grateful. Mm -hmm. But I think God is making me uncomfortable because maybe mm -hmm. I was comfortable for so long. So the situation I am is to kind of push me. And, you know, I'm not saying Taurus, but I'm saying, like, we get comfortable. We get, <laughs> we get comfortable. We, we tend to. We love comfort. And, I mean, you might be a different sign and you might love comfort, mm -hmm. too. But I'm speaking from experience. Mm -hmm. When I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable, honey. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes with comfortability comes with no growth. Right. Yeah, I think right. this is God's way of showing me, like, you can do it. And right now, I'm in a place where I have to discipline myself. And I might become a little distant from a lot of people, mm -hmm. like setting boundaries mm -hmm. and stuff. And just focus on me. Because how can I do that if I'm distracted? Earlier today, me and Marcus were, were conversing, and we were talking about how, remember how I said, after, like, realizing how certain people were kind of using and abusing me, literally mm. taking my fucking kindness for weakness, and I kind of cut them off and stepped back. Yeah. I don't hear from them. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about how some, like, because I want to make sure I get it right. Yeah. First of all, I think I put this on Instagram one time. It don't be you getting in the way of your own growth. Sometimes it could be your surroundings. Mm -hmm. But also, too, some people... How do you... Because uh, I'm a little high. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Give me a second. Like, the weed wasn't hitting me until I stopped smoking it. Give me a That's little a, bit. I'm a little high. We were talking about... Oh, Okay, bam, it came to me. Okay. <laughs> Real quick. How some people who really disappear, like you ever notice, you won't see a certain person for a while and they come back like mm -hmm. they done got their shit together. Mm -hmm. We were talking about how like it's not meant for you to grow and be watched while you're doing yeah. it. Sometimes you do have to disappear. Yeah, you do yeah. got to cut. So that was mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, girl. I'm and don't off. feel bad about it. I'm here off of social media and everything. Well, still that's watch why, the podcast. Get, oh, stay yeah, on YouTube. That's why I'm like making my rounds now with a certain Making my way now, now. But like, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. like you said, like, you're getting tired of people. I'm getting tired of people too. I'm getting so tired of people. I just turned 30 this year. And I just feel like some people, I just don't align with them like we used to. It's, all, it's and, okay and to it's outgrow. Okay. Yeah, it's and okay it's to okay. Outgrow. It is very much okay. And, like, you know, um, things that they're into, I'm just not into. Mm. And, you know, the partying and the hanging around certain people mm -hmm. i'm just like mm -mm. shout out to the awareness though because mm -hmm. not everybody becomes aware that you know what i am outgrowing this it's not mm -hmm. that i they're not bad people or this yeah. isn't a bad thing it's just no longer for me yeah it's no longer and for that's me okay. and girl i done call so many people and i'm like you think you better you got no the nerve because why it gotta be that you think i'm better than you i never said nothing like that I just that know part. I don't want to be around this. And I can choose not to be. Wow. Mm -mm, that toxic, the arguing, the fighting, the this and that and that and this. and No. Wow. You know, it wasn't until my dad had to explain to some folk that Mika is not acting funny. It ain't about if she thinks she's better than, than y'all. She don't deal with bullshit. Yeah. She's not here for the fucking drama. And that's okay. That, that is okay. Why? Like. Because people are so comfortable within their shit. Right. And, so, and, then when, and, and get 
get mad when somebody else smell their shit. Right. Because they can't smell it no more. Because they sit in it for too long. Like, that. She got bars. Y'all like, ain't record deal. Because that's so crazy. Oh, my goodness. Like, I could sit here and, like, talk about people that I was like, this is my girl. Mm-hmm. We together. Mm-hmm. We locked in. Mm-hmm. And then I hit a certain age. And it's just like, the conversation is the same. Mm-hmm. It's no goal. Mm-hmm. It's no, it's no like I'm doing this to better myself. Mm-hmm. Like I am a advocate of being a student for life. Like mm-hmm. you know, like I love learning off of people that I'm with. Like I know sometimes I could call Mika and we could talk, and I'd be like, "Girl, I didn't even know that." Like, girl, and vice I know, versa. like yeah, like I didn't even know that. Like I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look into that. And you know, versa. and I love that. I love that. But some people, it's just, it's not the same. They are not aware of themselves. They're not aware of how they project on people. Mm-hmm. And the trauma dump. Like, girl, the other day, I had to tell a friend of mine, cool guy, black man, love him. And um, I've been noticing, like, almost every other day, he's been calling me just dumping trauma. Dumping, 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 mm-hmm. dumping, dumping his problems, dumping his... And, and people forget their energy affects you. Yeah. And one day, I just had to tell them, like, you know, I'm having a day, too. Yeah. And <laughs> I appreciate you coming to me. You feel comfortable to come to me and tell me about, you know, your problems. But today, I just can't hear it. I right. don't my, I don't have the mental capacity for it. That's it. And, you know, I feel like he kind of got a little attitude. Like, all right, that's fine. And then, like, the other day, we spoke about it. And I was like, I don't want, I don't ever want to make a black man feel like I, I'm not right. going to listen to them. Right. Because they, they already have a hard time opening up. Right. But I'm like, that day just wasn't a day for me. That's it. And energy is real. And it's transferable. That's and it. so he he apologized. He's like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't make, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. I didn't, I wasn't thinking. And I'm like, no, it's cool. But, you know, sometimes it's okay to ask, yo, how's your energy today? Be can quiet. I can I talk to you about something? <laughs> yeah, and that is, and it makes it all the better. Yes, it makes it all the better. And like some people are not there yet. That's why know? when I was going through my shit and I would call you, I'd be like, "Well, first, how you yeah. doing? Today? You know, I always mm-hmm. got it. How you doing today? Okay, you straight? Woo woo. All right, so let me tell you about <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Let's make sure your energy mm-hmm. good first before I, cause if your voice don't sound hot it's like nah you sure you yeah good? but some people don't even pick up on that. To that i do i'm like you they don't sure? even pick up on it they just go straight to it no. straight into it no. and sometimes it's okay like sometimes it's okay especially if we have that relationship yeah sometimes it's okay but it's like not today I'm having a day too, girl. And we all have our days. Mm-hmm. Sometimes both of us are having a day. And it's like, you know what? Okay, tell me about yours. Mm-hmm. Bitch, really? But bitch, yours ain't yeah. got nothing on mine. Let me, tell know, you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about mine. Mm-hmm. Any last thing you want to? Because I'm going to end it, y'all. I know. I, thought, I think to, um, this was a great episode. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me on. No, thank you. You know, your girl got on sweatpants and a tank top and a okay. wrap. Okay. You chilling? Chilling. You better be at my game night. Certified stamp. Oh, goodness. Y'all heard me say it. Mm. Will we recording the game night? No. We're not going to put that But I'm just saying, episode. just in case Who something happened, I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh! So who uh, who all gonna be there? <laughs> <laughs> so of course my Hello. siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. like maybe all the cousins. Okay, um, with Natalie coming. Cece, yeah, Natalie, you know that's Angel. Um, oh, Cece, Angel. Okay, yeah, they'll be back from there. Maybe because somebody told me they got an event that day or something. Okay, but yeah, I ain't. You know, I don't really. Okay, yeah, that's the gang. That's the group. I don't really like a lot of people. I don't really like a lot of people with me when I go pick her up from work. (laughs) That's what he said on Friday. My mom, she don't really like a lot of people Mm -hmm. with me. Bitch, I'm just one person. It was the disrespect for me that Smokey gave to her. Because he didn't have to do her like that. He had to. But he did. But he did. 
It's all in the shoulders. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> okay, so, uh, listen, thank y'all for tuning in. What it is, what it do with the whoop, whoop. I'm going to get a shirt made. Oh, get a trademark. I sure am. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking of doing um merch. Like some maybe like some some cups or something or Ooh, like some tumblers. What it is, what it do with the woo some stickers. Yeah. Some um Damn, me and Marcus was talking about something. Probably get a hat. Like start wearing my shit. What it is, what it do with the woo woo for somebody get else. A little be, sticker, get a little Instagram. Somebody tag, else be out here. Put it on some, your car. You know, what it is, sticker. what it do with the woo woo is Miss B L Y, not Blige, mm-hmm. but Bly. I told y'all I got mm-hmm. bars. Why they be playing with me? They be playing. <sighs> Don't play. I thank y'all for tuning in. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, subscribe, share. Mm-hmm. Business minded. Yeah. It's the light for me. I see the light. I, know. Yeah, I don't like it. Ring. Business minded. Spirit and soul. Mm-hmm. Levels. And all of these, the author is Tatiana Jerome. But the um, website is Set in Soul. S E T I N S O U L dot com. I'm trying to go to where the actual website is, but I know it's Set in Soul dot com. And then <clears throat> don't forget Napoleon Hill. Even if you can't find the workbook, is it on the wrong? It's, it don't matter. <laughs> Even if you can't find the workbooks, the Napoleon Hill uh, book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And then there's another one by Napoleon Hill. It's called Outwitting the Devil. That is a great read mm, as well. That sounds like a good one. Um, but I thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Look at this. Read this out loud. Okay, hold on. Dawn found something, y'all. She found something. Not everyone can be part of the master plan. Wow. Look at that. And that's in levels. Not everyone can be a part of the master plan. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because not... Oh, then that makes me... Okay, bam. Makes me go back to... Certain things will not happen for you. Because you may be surrounded by people who are not supposed to be with you when mm-hmm. that thing happens for you. That part. And before we go, if you are very much aware of your surroundings, watch when bad things happen to you or things that don't go your way. Mm-hmm. Look at the people around you when that's happening. Mm-hmm. Make comparisons. Because God will always show you. Mm. And my, and right at that moment, you might not see it. But you'll be like, damn, this happened. So-and-so was around. This happened. So-and-so was saying this. This mm. happened. So-and-so told me to do this. And you be like, damn, all this shit happened when I was listening to your ass. Message. Message. God will show you. And still pay attention to how you feel when you go around people. Mm-hmm. And still pay attention to how people congratulate you. Yeah, that too. Alright. I'm out, y'all. All in the shoulders. All I need to shoulders. get a, um... Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> a, um... How do you call it? What? Some type of intro, outro. Oh, like a little theme. But I be liking to get to it, because when yeah. I like to listen to a part, I don't want to hear no commercials and none of that shit. Like, start oh, talking as when soon you, as I hit listen, play. Listen, when you get them commercials, I mean, gonna be yeah, I'm here for that. I'm here for the she sponsorship. Money. Hold on, because I don't want them to think I'm not here for the sponsorship. When you get that commercial in that middle, that means you getting that money. I like to smoke weed. I like to smoke papers. So, anybody mm-hmm. got some papers they want me to try, mm-hmm. hit it with the whoop whoop. Make sure they burn slow, because what you're not going to do... Look at that. I'm working on it. Girl, bye. I don't like but it. Girl, bye. No, I'm putting it down. <laughs> they already know I don't care. Girl, bye. What you not going to do is give me papers that burn too fast. It aggravates my asthma. Okay. I don't know nothing about that, but okay. Whatever <laughs> she said. It don't aggravate my don't asthma, but it's just happen. aggravating to have papers that burn way too fast. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen.
But I think you guys follow the podcast on Instagram at Uncomfortable Conversations Pod. Mm-hmm. Until next Sunday. Until next. What Sunday. it is, what it do with the whoop whoop, bow, bow. bam out. <laughs>